Hello, my name is Dr. Rodriguez. I am a science professor. STEAM is an educational movement that combines science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. On the iSTEAM channel, we will introduce STEAM fields as access points for experiential learning, inquiry, and critical thinking. Hello, my name is Dr. Rodriguez. I am a science professor. Today's episode, the compound microscope. A microscope is an instrument that allows us to observe very small objects that cannot be seen with the naked eye. Invention of the microscope made it possible for scientists to study structures of cells and the tissues. The microscope is one of the important tools that you will need to study biology. Head, the upper part of the microscope that contains the lens and includes the ocular lens, revolving nose piece, and objective lens. The ocular lenses are two removable lenses that you look through to observe the specimen on the slide. So microscopes have a single ocular lens. The most common magnification of the ocular lens is 10x increasing the size of the specimen by a factor of 10. One of the ocular lens may have a pointer, which is a dark line that enables the user to point to a part of the specimen on the slide. Revolving nose piece. This is a rotating nose piece which carries objective lens of different powers. The user rotates the nose piece to change from one objective lens to another. Objective lenses. Three to four objective lenses are usually attached to the nose piece, with a different magnification written on each lens. The shortest of this lens is the scanning objective, or 4x, for quickly surveying the whole area of the microscope field. The mid-side one is the low power objective, or 10x. The longest one is the high power objective, or 40x. So microscope may have a oil objective, which require oil to observe the specimen. The oil objective is usually 100x. Arm. The vertical, usually curved or sometimes straight part connecting the head to the base of the instrument. The microscope arm contains the following parts, stage, coarse adjustment knobs, fine adjustment knob, condenser, condenser knob, iris diaphragm, and the iris diaphragm lever. The stage, sometimes called the mechanical stage, is a flat platform beneath the objective lens upon which the slide is placed. The stage has either a mechanical stage clamp or clip both of which keeps the slide stationary during viewing. The mechanical stage adjuster knobs allow the precise movement of the slide on the stage. Course adjustment knob. The larger knobs on either side of the base of the arm that allows preliminary focusing. Turning them produce relatively rapid movement of the stage, bringing it closer to or farther from the objective lens. The quartz adjustment knob should only be used with the scanning power of 4x in order to avoid contacting the objective lens with the microscope slide. Fine adjustment knobs. Two smaller knobs on either side of the base of the arm usually located in the center of each quartz adjustment knob. The fine adjustment knobs yield extremely small movements of the stage for very precise focusing. Condenser. Located just below the stage, it aligns the light beam through an opening in the stage and through the specimen. In many microscopes, the condenser includes a knob that raises and lowers the condenser to control light intensity. Iris diaphragm. Located under the condenser, this regulates the amount of light passing through the specimen. Iris diaphragm lever, a lever that opens and closes a ring of metal shutters of the iris diaphragm. Base, the bottom support of the microscope, 
The base includes the following, light and power switch. A light is a source within the base that illuminates the specimen. Light comes from below and passes through the slide. It could be electric or it could be reflected in all microscopes. Power switch. A switch either at the side or the front of the base turn the light on and off. A dial adjusts the light intensity. I hope this presentation was insightful. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you enjoy learning about STEAM. Please also share this channel with someone you think can benefit from or will enjoy the presentation of the iSteam channel. Hope to see you soon!